Hi, hello guys. How are you? So today, our topic is instrument earthing. By the way, my name is Randy Cristo. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can share as well. So part of my journey is to share the knowledge and also the business and related works activities. That's why I'm sharing now the instrument earthing. So what is the instrument earthing? So instrumentation earthing, as you can see here, so for those who are experienced and for those who are now in, staying in the construction, so this is, you can see here, this is your familiarity. Okay, transfer of the immediate discharge of the electric energy directly to the earth by means of the low resistance path is known as the earthing. So the main objective of the earthing system in plant is to describe as below. It provides a low impedance. It ensures that personnel are not exposed to unsafe potential due to uncleared fault. It ensures compliance of electromagnetic EMC. IS Earth avoids ignition source in hazardous area. That's why we're installing IS. So, items of, or equipment which require earthing but not limited below. So, that is spelled instrument, control system cabinet, analyzer shelters, junction boxes, enclosures, DAX, and cable tree. So, this is our all information how you're utilizing, how you're using your earthing system. So, stanchions, failed local panels, consoles, Motors, tanks, vessels, pipes, steel structure, etc. So there are mainly three types of earthing systems provided for instrumentation. First, safety earth that we can say if you, if you are in front of the of the panel, as you can see here, left and right, there is a safety earth. That's a dirty earth, protective earth, and electrical earth, power earth. So we classify this one. Instrument earth. That's we call IE, electrical, electronic earth, reference earth, and clean earth, signal earth. So lastly, last one, intrinsic safety. So earth, it's for IS circuit. So you can see the blue color one in the instrumentation because we have non-IS and IS cable. That's why we also separate up this kind of earthing system. It's only required when you have IS instruments. The primary aim of the instrument earth signal earth is to provide a low impedance path to the noise current induced. So that's why this is the most important. So to low to low the interferences and also your uh, system it's protected. Okay. So shields for single pair, multi pair, analog instrument signal cables are connected to the to this earth pit so if you are instrumentation technician if you are instrumentation engineering or you are now practicing so this is good for you to understand for the instrumentation earthing so safety earth and detected earth faults pose safety risk to personnel or personnel also may lead to safety hazards such equipment malfunction power and electric shock that we need electrical earth safety earth. So that's the most important thing. So earth resistance, allowable earth resistance as per code or control system, vendor recommendations should be considered for instrument earthing system design. So below is a reference table that can update based on the project specific requirements. It depends on your project requirements. So if you are, if you are American standard or British standard, um, European standard. It's it depends. Okay. So basically, this is how we are using. So this is our description. Code of earthing cable allowable resistance. So you can see here instrument earth intrinsic earth safety earth. So the color is green, green with yellow strips. So allowable resistance when you do the testings continuity. Okay. This is less than one ohm. Based on the electrical design, specifications of contract. 
That's why we're telling it depends on your project specification. It depends on the company. So there should be an isolation between earth. Its type of earthing mentioned above. If there's no isolation, which means that the purpose of the above earthing requirements will not be fulfilled. Okay, there are mainly two areas in which earthing systems is foreseen. So, ano ba yung makikita natin? So, first, number one, indoor building like control room, switch gear room, etc. Wherein cabinets, panel, consoles are in place. So, usually, you are in the, what we say, uh, control room, instrument room. So, meron tayong tinatawag ganyan. So, number two, outdoor process area. So, as you can see, the process area, mostly instrumentations are there. Pressure gauge, transmitter, level gauge. Control panel inside the control room fall under the indoor type, depending upon the cabinets, functions, its type of earthing bars are provided. So, control room equipment, including system cabinets, marshalling cabinets, power distribution panels, so, if you are familiar about this, it's very familiar when you are in the plant or when you are in the, for example, in the switch gear room, in the control room, because there is a lot of panels are there, you can identify easily a flow meter, marshalling cabinets, okay, and fire and gas, it, there's a lot of panels are there. Okay, system and marshalling cabinets should have safety earth, instrument earth, intrinsically safe so previously uh, i'm not so familiar during the time when i started in uh, learn instrumentation so i don't know this kind of information so when i so during the theory so you know that there's a safety earth instrument earth but in the actual it's totally different because you can see the actual itself oh this is the this is the earth bar uh, for the safety earth there's the instrument earth bar so you can easily identify that's why if you are studying it's good that you will uh, that you practicing this kind of activities because if you are not practicing it will be banished after a couple of years so network cabinets server cabinets power distribution panels should have is e okay city earth so all the instrumentation earth bar cabinet should be connected a common earth instrument earth bar provided in the false floor so that's why you need to verify in your uh, ground floor in your false floor there is a earth dispatcher okay this common instrument earth bar shall be further connected to the nearest instrument earth grid using copper cables so it should be agreed with a control system supplier for earthing philosophy of cabinet earth bar connection to the building earth network. That's using star connection or series connection. It depends on how you're designed. And then it will be applied for that. And also some of the recommendation from the vendor as well. So next, earthing philosophy, series earth connectivity. So this is our sample how your series connectivity and of course all the safety earth bars connected should be connected the common safety earth so all of this all information that you can see so if you are working in the control room right now if you are constructing a new building within the switch gear control room then you can see all of these informations that i showed to you so verify and check it's all correct it's there you can check in your cabinet so this common safety earth bar shall be further connected to the nearest safety earth grid using copper cables the main earth grid conductor size can be calculated based on the desired fault within the required time earth so in my project right now so we're using uh, for example for the for the instrumentation we have a casing so we have an earth pit, we have a four, four earth, pit, earth pit for the instrumentation uh, pit. So that will be connected to the, your system in your cabinet. 
So good practices, cable shield shall be insulated and floated at the field instrument side. So always remember this, cut and tip cable shield is the drain wire attached with the aluminum mylar or metal braid cover on the instrument signal that is 4 to 20 milliamps analog signal, low voltage signals, etc. Okay, main cable from junction box and control room shall, shall be grounded. Huh? Because sometimes there is a there is a mistake from the technicians, and then if you are like uh, if you are inspecting, uh, you are an inspector, you should clear this one and check the drawings. And sometimes the drawings, uh, I don't know if it's uh, uh, miss the uh, they, can, they, are, they forgot that one. So that time you need to verify, you need to check this one. So the most important thing, this is the this is the key. Main cable from junction box shall be grounded at one place, control system, in instrument earth bar, isolated type. All the connection to the instrument earth bar within the cabinet shall be screw type of non-corrosive metal. So this is the example. So this is a field instrument. So this is your instrument. For example, this is a transmitter or a label gates, whatever trans, uh, instrumentation is this. Okay. And then it will go straight to your junction box. Junction box also nearby in your field instrument. So either sing, uh, single pair, two pair, either triad or multi pair. And then go straight to your control room, either utilizing panel, Marshall and cabinet, system cabinets. So as long as that you have a panel. So okay, this is the termination, how it looks like. So instrument earth bar. So this is what he explaining here. Cable shield shall be insulated, floated at the field current side. So floated at the field current side. Okay. And then it will be shield that will be terminated into the terminal and then also in the in the instrument earth bar so in your junction box in your in your gb in your panel there is an instrument earth bar and instrument, all of this okay so next so similarly for is cable individual an overall shield shall be connected to the is earth bar inside of the cabinet so ensure continuity of all earth cables up to earth bar, up to earth pits. So that's what I'm telling from earth pit, earth bar, and then go to your panel, right? So cable armor shall be earthed at both ends for lighting protections at the junction box and to the control system. Since the junction box body control system cabinet body is connected to the safety earth bar, cable armors are ultimately connected to the safety earth so all instrumentation all instruments 24 volts dc or 110 volts or 220 volts ac operated body should be earthed to the nearest fell safety earth bar located on the stale structure so earth continuity should be ensured between tray tray fittings tray sections this will be ensured earth cable strips at every 25 meters of tray length. So it depends on your company procedure as well. So if every 25 meters or every 5 meters, every, depends every 10 meters. So just read your procedure specification. Earth bar connections shall be such that painting should not act as bad contact between earth bar and structure. So continuity shall be ensured. So this is the example that I showed to you, junction box. And then as you can see, there's a yellow, yellow green. Okay. And then transmitter, that is earthing safety earth. As you can see, another junction box shell, termination, termination isolated instrument that is terminated. And then it goes straight to the earth bar safety connection, safety earth instrument earth okay instrument cable tree system this is banden this is all you need to 
cable three banding. So instrument earth inside the control system cabinet, as you can see signal earth IE also they are putting here IE and then this is all about and then safety safety earth inside the control system cabinet non isolated. So if you are if you are now in the in the construction side, just check this one how they determine it and how they run their cable as well so you that so you have a familiar already about this instrumentation so thank you guys and have a nice day don't forget to like and subscribe my youtube channel and continue and share share the opportunity and share these experiences okay bye bye